For today's creature feature, we come to the fog of downtown Atlanta, the Marriott Marquis. Can't even see the top of it. That's where I just got coffee. That's where I always get coffee. Whether it's Dragon Con Atlanta weekend or Days of the Dead Atlanta weekend, I always get coffee at the Starbucks in there. It's time for a creature feature. I love saying that. Crazy Atlanta. I tell you what. Hey, what's up, man? I tell you what. Atlanta is crazy. I've seen a lot of craziness in these streets. Here on this rainy Saturday in Atlanta, we enter the Cortland Grand Hotel. Actually, I just exited not too long ago. I stayed here last night. This is where Days of the Dead is going down. Formerly known as the Sheraton. I will always call it the Sheraton because the first time I came to Atlanta, for a convention, it was Dragon Con, and this is where we always pick up our weekend badges for that convention. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome if it's your first time. Horror convention. Welcome home to myself. Welcome home to you guys. Thanks for always clicking on these videos. If you're new here, I like conventions, and I go to a lot of them. Today, Saturday, Days of the Dead Atlanta, the first Days of the Dead of 2024. This will be, I think, my third year in a row attending. I think last night in yesterday's video I said fourth, but technically it's the third. 2022, 23, and now 24. Wait a minute. I may have came in 2021. Anyways, it all runs together. I can't keep track of all that. But anyways, I always come back because I have a good time here. There's a lot of things going on here today. Some new things. They've got a tattoo convention now. We're going to explore the ins and outs of Days of the Dead. There's much ahead. And we got a few minutes until the gates officially open here for Saturday. A lot of folks in line all the way down that hallway and over here checking out the new Days of the Dead t-shirts. I like this one. The Alien. A lot of Aliens cast members here today including Michael Bean. I like this one with the skull too. Looks like these shirts are 25 bucks each. We're gonna see a lot of vendors today already. I'm seeing some cool stuff right here at the t-shirt booth. Check out the stained glass. Dun, dun, dun. Dramatic music and lighting. This is like the perfect spot to capture. Oh man, look at that. Oh. Are you ready? Are you ready to go out and do Days of the Dead? I think you are. So I've honestly never seen this movie. You said it's called Playing With Dolls? Playing With Dolls. I've gotta check it out. Yeah, it's like Renee Perez movies. There's four. Okay. Check them out if you just got time to kill. Check it out, Playing With Dolls. I'm getting really freaked out being next to you. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got the birds. Oh, that's perfect. It's always good seeing a good Hitchcock cosplay, yeah. especially the birds. Love the classic. classic. Really good job. Thank you. All right, this place just got serious. Oh. Okay. I got. I got asked twice. Okay, I got to really think about this. Got it. Help me, Michael. Help me, Michael. Please. He never does say a word. Nope, never does. I do feel like an animal. You too. Happy Days of the Dead. And a quick stop in the celebrity room. People already in line to get their autographs, their pictures from their favorite celebrities. Lots of actors from Hellraiser today, including Doug Bradley over here. That's amazing. I don't think I've seen Doug Bradley up close like this. And Freddy himself is here from Five Nights of Freddy's. Kevin Foster. First time I've seen him in person as well. And we made it into the vendor room. Check out Freddy here collecting donations for the Days of the Dead Film Festival, which is a thing here. I've never heard of this movie, but I want to watch it. That is one of the best posters I've ever seen. It's very intriguing. Skate to hell. All you can eat food right here at this booth. You just gotta pick, you gotta pick around the lice. That's it. Oh no. All right, make it quick. Return of the Living Dead. Oh, that's really cool. Wow. Can I get a pic? Yeah. Awesome. You can take Michael out of South Pasadena, but you can't take South Pasadena out of Michael. Jason versus Michael. I've seen this somewhere before. There you go. Oh, right there. Take a screenshot. Make it last longer. There's always 
<laughs> Much ahead. Much ahead, my man. What's new and what's good? Man, you see it, brother. Uh, new revamp. I Ooh. like this booth. Thank you, man. Uh, Custom been... creations by my friend Peanut here. Yes, sir. Yeah, I, I was telling you earlier, I passed by. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. This is not my first initial reaction. It's awesome in here. But I was telling him I hung that piece over the door yes, at our home, and I love it. So thank oh, you again man. for doing that for us. It's so awesome, man. Yeah. My pleasure. My pleasure, dude. What's what's new? Uh, oh, what's new is I've started doing laser engraved slate coasters. Oh wow, those are sick. Thanks, man. Um, Four for thirty-five. I like the cat. Yeah. I'll get some Freddy. Yeah, these are really good. I've never seen anything quite like this. That's it's a, a real, thing. it's a really good idea. And he's doing the same thing here on paintings. I like this. Uh, Clowns, killer clowns over here. Also, Five Night at Freddy's. A raven knocking at my door. Nevermore. Nevermore. Edgar Allan Poe. That's really cool. I like these mirror things. They're letting up. They're like, oh man, get out of here! You can't talk. I like these. These are awesome. Custom creations by my friend Peanut. There's all the information. Take a screenshot. It'll last a long time. And long. I'm over here at this booth, Chris Butler Designs. I love me some coloring books, especially some horror ones. Check this out. Color the Killer. Yeah, and I say that word funny. We've got Leatherface right there, all your favorites. These are really cool books. All your favorites. There's some Friday the 13th. And also, they have an entire Terrifier Color the Terrifier book as well. Check them out. Ooh, this might be my favorite. Color the Monster. Classic Universal Monsters in here. We've got the Wolfman, Dracula, Invisible Man. Can I show you my favorite part? What's your favorite? Okay. So, here, yeah. you were almost there. I'll, I'll show it to the camera too. Okay. Alright, so you have the Invisible Man, right? Where is he? But also... Oh! Oh, yeah, the that, man. that's perfect. That's funny. Chris Butler Designs, if you want to check out some of these coloring books for your own, there's a information right there. Oh, I like the little ghosty on the back. This officially might be one of my favorite cards. Selfie guy? Oh my gosh. Selfie dude in Days of the Dead, Atlanta, 2024. Dude, what are you, why are you not at your booth right now selling masks? Yeah, I'm selling a custom Casey Jones hockey mask. Oh. There's one there, Punisher. Casey Jones from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. There's a Dude, Jason. I have a friend that you need to meet. Oh yeah? Yeah. What's his name? Well, his name's Rick. Rick? Yeah. That selfie guy? Yeah, the selfie guy. What's your name? That selfie guy. Oh, it's selfie dude. David oh, Howard Horton. It's David, David Howard Horton. Horton. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I, I gotta I, you gotta meet this guy. Well, let's do it. Yeah. Here we go. Selfie dude. He's gonna meet selfie guy. Look at him. He has no idea. Selfie dude. Hey, selfie dude. Hey, hey. I got a picture with you, selfie dude. Hey, what's going on, man? Fuck yeah, gal. Good to see a fan. Good to see a fan. We're here in Days of the Dead Atlanta. This is what fame has done. Look at what fame has done to me. I'll tell you what, Rick. He never charged me $100 for a mask. I'm just saying. Yeah, I give them away for free. So you don't charge for your autograph? No, I pay people to take it. Oh! Yeah. Maybe we should start hanging out with this one. I, I, you, now you have taken my fame over now, so my, my uh, two seconds of fame is gone. Now you've taken it over. Check out the back here. 13 X Studios. 13.5 X Studios. Oh, 13.5. Got all the masks here. Make that one just for you. All right. Yeah. Selfie dude rules with a penis Casey coming Jones. down in the mouth. All right, I love it. I've never seen something quite like this before. This is really cool. So check these out. These are like ice cream bars, but they're in the shape of some of your favorite monsters and characters. There's Skeletor there. Frankenstein. There's also some more over here. Ronald McDonald. So it's more like a mystery. You don't know what yeah, you're going to get. Yeah, mystery figures, yeah. That's amazing. 12 bucks each. If you want to check them out, Andrew Heath's Frozen Culture established 2021. There's the QR code right there. I really like the monster section over here. I like them all though. Always cool running into some really unique retro toys. I think I used to have a couple of these alligators. How about you? Check this out. Remember these TV dinner trays? I had a Ghostbusters and a Ninja Turtle one. I don't know if I could handle this one. That is scary. Oh my gosh. 
and the, they're watching the cloud and the, oh there's a little plant next to it too that is neat i've never seen anything like that i don't know why i love this whoa look at this michael myers popping out of the closet just like in the movie oh, no, he even got a light bulb there this display here 550 bucks oh down here it says halloween and then above we've got hellraiser these are really well done jesus wept that one's 600 bucks and this one that is freaky who makes these this booth is awesome oh wait there's more these creations are cool especially if you're a hellraiser fan look at that one i don't know who else thinks this is one of the scariest movies of all time it's really freaky it is dark still going at this booth camp crystal lake it's a really neat display it looks like the sign camp sign and i just met scott from scott's variety shop he's the one that is creating all this stuff you're seeing here they have really outdone themselves this year look at all this it's the queen get away from her oh. The little pod. Check this out. Michael Myers on the porch. South Pasadena, baby. Also, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We've got some more Hellraiser. Scott's Variety Shop. They are out of Maryland. And I'll show you the card again. I'll take a screenshot. Oh, that's from uh, A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 4. I love that scene. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's cool. I see. Oh, man. I could go broke in here. This would really look good back at our spooky house. Also, Saul. Trick or treat. Jason. It just keeps going. It's still January. How can it be Thanksgiving? Carver. Oh, that's one of my favorite scenes of the movie, too. Oh, that's so good. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, check that out. Oh, that's so creepy. <laughs> and the strangers here are taking a, taking a shot at the turkey, too. You got to take a shot at the turkey? Yeah. Let's see if you can knock it off. Ah! Oh, my gosh. All right. Make, is that, make sure I get some of the white meat. I like the white and the dark meat, but I'll take the white meat. Oh, Chucky? Hey, oh my gosh. It's it's gonna be, whoa, whoa, hey Santa, what, what did Chucky do to you? You got a crowd here, Chucky. You got quite a killer crowd. Bye. Oh, this is some great, great costumes. Zombie stormtroopers. Oh no, what'd you do to him? It was him. Move along. Okay. Wow, you can like see a spine coming out here. The troopers. I've met the troopers. Game over, man. Oh, it is now, right? Game over. And brand new to Days of Dead Atlanta this year, the Days of the Dead Tattoo Expo on the third floor of the hotel. I've never been in here. They're having some sort of a contest too. These are all the logos for the different tattoo artists, some of the tattoo artists that are here today. There's some more up there. Hey big guy, you're finally doing it, right? Get some ink done. What are you gonna get, Chucky? What are you gonna get? Let me guess. It's gonna be a knife or, let's face it, you're gonna get Andy on the bottom of your foot, right? Oh wait, no. That's the wrong move. A lot of folks getting ink done. Check this out. All the way down and two rows over. I think there's three rows all together of tattoo artists. I like the vibes right here. Check out this booth. Got a coffin. This is pretty sick. Also, they have some skateboard decks. Oh, thanks, buddy. I was looking for a card. Yeah. I just met Adam Stoner himself, so there you go. He was a nice guy. Check him out. And here are the awards for the tattoo contest going on today. I don't know if I'll make it. You can look this up online. There's all the information there. There's the contest. These are pretty sick trophies. Wow. There's so many of them. Those, those look real, don't they? Really love this artwork. Wow, that's fantastic. Look at this painting. 
So much talent here. Sick painting with a witch and a little house. This is the painting of Darren White. Check it out right there. Eye Candy Studios, Darren White on Instagram. Really cool paintings. Hello, Sam. You're also here to get a tattoo as well. Let me guess. Hmm, something sweet. They also sell Days of the Dead Tattoo Expo t-shirts as well. Look at that, Atlanta 2024. Also like this one too. If Barney was a dinosaur. Oh man, I love you, but you hate me. That is scary. Okay, you just took like my wildest childhood dreams and like twisted them. I love it, I love it. Oh man, that's so good. There goes the Wicked Witch. Oh no. Now it's time to grab a photo with Michael Ironside. Love him in Total Recall. Also Starship Troopers. The next Karate Kid. And of course, Scanners. I think Michael plays one of my favorite bad guys of all time. He actually plays just a really great bad guy at everything. Also in Highlander, McLeod. There can be only one. And I forgot that he was in V. We gotta find Quaid. Okay, so this just went down. Just met Michael. We hit it off really good because I'm wearing my Tampa Bay Lightning Bolt shirt. And he goes, go Leafs go. Get out of here, Lightning fan. He's a huge hockey fan. Did not know that. So I wore the correct shirt today. We talked about hockey a lot and we took this photo here. Look at this. Really cool guy. Really nice guy too. Look forward to seeing him around this weekend. And welcome to my room, guys. Thought this would be the perfect moment to take a break, come up, leave my stuff in my room, and give you a little tour. Nothing like staying at the convention for the weekend. Don't have to get the car out. Don't have to go too far. You just wake up, get out of bed, and roll right down into Days of the Dead. Whew. It's the scariest thing I've seen all day. Ah! This is everything that I have brought up from my room from the convention today. As you can see, I bought the t-shirt. Just want to make sure this stays nice. It's very convenient just coming right up and dropping your stuff off and going right back down to the convention. This is where I edited last night's video. This is where I slept. That's where, well, we want to talk about that. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't even sit there. We also have an okay view out here. Pretty nice, right? And... Of course it comes with a bathroom and a shower. You gotta have those too, right? <laughs> All right, back to the convention. Much ahead. Cause it it. Oh my gosh, that's the best it I've ever seen. You really have it. We've got Jason over here and the strangers. That's a good duo. What do you think? The backside of slashers. Fist bump, yeah. And made it just in time for the Hellraiser reunion. Q and A. And the design was not precise, and there were bits of extra stuff here and there. And I remember looking at them, and, and I, I thought, I looked at the tribal version, and I thought, this looks great. And I looked at the other one, and I thought, but that's the one that Clive will go with, because it's because it's what is described in the Hellbound Heart, um, uh, but because it is a neat ordered, carefully arranged, rationally considered, geometrically precise piece of self-mutilation. <laughs> and, and, and those contradictions, and everything that you've said, when, when I sat and looked at him in the mirror for the first time, what the hell am I looking at? Um, uh, and started trying to raise an eyebrow and, and smile and, and frown and, and say, I'll tell you so, apart from what the, the all the impressions I was coming back, there was a sense of beauty, a sense of melancholy from him, I felt very yes. strongly, um, that I couldn't really make sense of at all. Um, and what I've always said about it is that it, it's a received image of pain. Because it's easy in a way to look at the image and not be aware of the agony that is involved in having a lot of nails banged into your head. Um, so it's, and the threat is almost, Look what I did to myself. Now think what I could do to you. you. You start by not being able to ask yourself any of the normal questions that an actor will ask. You know, um, what do I have, what do I like to wear? What earrings do I like? Um, uh, 
uh, what, what do I eat for breakfast? What car do I drive? Do I like sports? And if I do, am I scared of boxing? Or do I love football? Or do I follow cricket or basketball? Or what? None of that applies. None of that applies. And as far as I knew, there was nowhere I could go to watch Cenobites at work. <laughs> or I hope. Um, uh, so I had two things. I had Clive Barker. Uh, and I spent quite a lot of time just, you know, um, picking at him as we were approaching it. Uh, he, you know, he, he gave me insights that aren't necessarily precisely helpful as an actor, but they're imaginative insights that you won't get anywhere else. He said to me, you should consider him, him um, a cross between a monk and a butcher, uh, and you should Consider him as a surgeon in a hospital. But this is a hospital that has no wards, it only has operating theatres, and you are also the head administrator. You are, as, as well as being the person who wields the knife, you are responsible for keeping everything running on time. You have that, you have the screenplay, you read the screenplay, you read the screenplay. There was a lot in the elements that were working around Pinhead that were familiar to me from theatre work with Clive. There was one particular character way back in the early 1970s, and I thought he was called the Dutchman, and he was a kind of witch finder character, and little light bulbs were going off in my head there. And I was aware that Clive, because I'm very, I, I was being very familiar with Clive's writing over a very long time, you know, his style is naturally highly poetic. And I was very conscious coming to the screenplay that he was writing down, if I, I don't mean that in a pejorative sense, but that he was kind of writing in movie ease, in just everyday language for, for the characters. And I felt, I felt instinctively that when he got to Pinhead, he let the hand break off. It was like you say, great, now I can now I can let fly. This Pinhead's language is so distinctly different from from the language of, of most of the other characters in in the movie. But then it is for me it was it was that moment of sitting in front of the mirror. I had 20 minutes in the in the makeup room on my own just staring at this thing in the mirror. And I uh, unapologetically um, uh, I found probably 95% of what I thought I was doing, uh, or hoped <laughs> I thought I was doing. What then helped was walking on set, and everybody had the same reaction. Everybody took a step backwards, yeah. and then everybody went, oh my God, and everybody took a step forward, and a step forward, oh my God, yeah. oh my God, can I? <laughs> you know, um, so mix these all up in a bowl and then you stand on your mark and someone says action and then you, you open your mouth and you hope it works. I know we didn't get to get to everyone's questions because they're very tiny, but, but please go to their tables and ask them the questions you didn't get to ask and please give it up. Hellraiser. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We're going to do a group picture. Really cool moment here. Really enjoy the Q&As here at Days of the Dead. Awesome. There you go. Hellraiser reunion group photo. <laughs> All right, ready? One, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Thank you. Yeah. It's the Blair Witch Corner. Look at that. Nice photo op. Coming through. Your eyes move, Willie. Hi. I really need to see that movie. I haven't seen it yet. I'm sorry. I really need to see this movie, especially a kid that always went to show up his pizza growing up. Jason and Ash. Really good, both of you. I, oh yeah, I was waiting for the hotter. 
That's awesome. That's a Jason Takes Manhattan. That is really cool. That's a really good one. Both of you. All right. Happy Days of the Dead. Easter's not too far away. Oh my gosh, that is creepy. You got it? Oh, you got something in there? Oh my gosh, it's all bloody. Thank you. There's a little buddy in my Easter egg. How about that? See you soon, Mr. Cuddles. Mr. Cuddles. Hello. 13X Studios. Let's see what to do. If the Selfie King has provided some new stuff. He's always providing new stuff. This stuff is awesome. Check out the John Carver mask. Got to have some Thanksgiving. Okay, these are for Chris and I. Yes. Two Nick Bricks. Yes. Stephanie here. Winner of the contest we did on Facebook, Give Kids the World. Am I starting? You're yeah. Not you're, you're not going to say action? I, I am an actor. I'm sorry. I forgot I'm dealing with a professional here. Yes, please. Action. <laughs> So I first off want to say truly in the bottom of my heart, um, thank you everyone for when we did these masks we did. Oh, whoa, whoa, man. All hung over too, by the way. So um, first of all, thank you everybody that um, donated um, for Give Kids the World for our masks we did. Um, Adam and Micah and me, Chris and Jay. You guys don't understand, like we raised $1,500 for Give Kids the World. Now. Beautiful. Yeah, it's truly like uh, awesome. So. Um, this young lady, Stephanie, she was the first one who bought our first mask, the Halloween one, and um, it was like six hundred dollars. So she donated this and went right to give kids. Stephanie so was our big winner. Awesome. I love it. It's yeah. my favorite thing. And why we have her here? Actually, we were together last night, and um, we ran into her. We ran into her, and it's been awesome. So, but I also, while she's here, I would like to say that me and Jay were in a movie called Halloween Death Walks Among Us Part Two. Yes. The, the horror of Camp Crystal Lake. Don't quote me on that. Yes. So <laughs> that's the movie. <laughs> what we decided to do, me and Jay, um, just me and him, because we were the you know the big actors in the movie, the stars. Um, we're gonna sign we another found mask. This mask. We're gonna do it. Jay's gonna do one side. I'm gonna do the other. It's gonna be limited one of one. All the money's going to give kids a world, and I should get it on. Um, I have MegaCon next week, which it'll be at MegaCon. So I figure right after MegaCon weekend, I'll put it up for auction, and again, it's going to give kids All right. a world. And thank you guys so much. Truly, like we joke around, we fool around, but this is this is what it's all about. This Not is what it's all about to help the kids. And I want to thank Stephanie. She's yes. standing right here. She was our first winner. It, yeah. you know, tears brought to my eyes what what she you did. So, beautiful Chris message. and I really yes. appreciate you. Chris wanted to tell you thank you too. So, oh, thank you. yeah. I love you, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it, it means the world. And it's it's and all us guys come together and just to sign a mask. We raise money for something great. So, we gotta sign it. Yeah, let's do it. My value will be very worth. More than yours, but it yeah. is what it is, though. Yep, exactly. And you still sign, charging me for and masks. Also, he signs like a uh, like a ten year old. So just so <laughs> let you guys know, I will do it nice and fancy. His will be ages in your heart and also in your penmanship. Right, fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> First we had Thanksgiving. Now we have Christmas. So it, this is confirmation right here in this oh, photo. No, Take a screenshot. Oh, stop, Selfie guy will be in Terrifier Three. Just tell him Tampa J said it. So I went really big on this one. Rick now signing the mask. You're gonna auction this off after MegaCon, correct? Yes. Facebook. Make sure you are following the selfie guy. Boom. Look at that. Wow, that's an that's great. No, uh, that's how you sign right there. No, that one. And right I there. did it. And I did a little fancier that I never do, so it's very limited. I never sign with a little twirl. I like so. that. I like the yes. twirl. And with the tattoo floor upstairs, there's really four different vendor rooms. You got this room right before the big one. And then you go all the way through and around, and you come back out, and there's tables down the hallways as well. It's a really cool display. Trick or treat. Look at these creature feature creations. Really like the Freddy glove right there. That would look good on my nightstand. What do you think? Definitely bring me some nightmares. <laughs> right, Fred, dude? Also, there's the phone. Heather Langenkamp is also here today. So this is the booth where you can actually put your face. Oh, that's not a styrofoam? Your face, not that face. That could be your face. You can put your face on a teddy bear. This gentleman right here, that's what he does. They have many, small, medium, and life-sized. See, that's me. Is that you over there? Yeah, those are all amazing. Oh, that's your examples. And that's you, oh, okay, I see it. Now that is stinking good. Look at that. I want this, but I want it in Steelers. I'm pretty sure he could do that in your team if you wanted to. I'm just gonna go out on a limb. Can you do it in those other teams? Have you done those in other multiple teams? 
Oh, cool. When I was a kid, I had a teddy bear. But I, what I really wanted to sleep with was a Freddy bear. Sick Boris Karloff up there. All right, check him out. Your face on a teddy bear. There's all of the Facebook, Instagram, Etsy, eBay QR codes right there. Check them out. This is some excellent cosplay. That took a lot of time. Wow, Hellraiser. Really cool. Pinhead. And it took me a while, but I currently found the other celebrity room. Dean Kane over here to my right. Been a huge fan of him ever since Lois and Clark, The Adventures of Superman. Used to watch that with my dad when I was a kid. And of course, Ripley's Believe It or Not, Dean Kane. Cool to see him here at the show. Also here today, this is his table. He's not here right now, but Alex Armbruster, who played John Carver in the recent Thanksgiving. I really like that film. I can't wait to watch it. I'm gonna buy the Blu-ray, Eli Roth. Oh, oh my gosh. I tell you what, it ain't even Christmas yet. And you gotta tell me what's in the box, Mr. Creepshow. No, I can't, you can't tell me? Can you show me? Okay, all right, we, we'll be right back. All right, come on, come on. All right, there goes Dean Kane right there. You look good. Ah, not enough bullets in the world. Game over, man. That's real pretty shit now, man. All right. It's game time. I love it. Have you seen Michael Bean walking around? I have seen him walking around. I haven't seen him at his table. It's weird. Oh, okay. Maybe we'll find him later. Also here today, Adam Green of Hatchet. This is his booth. Also, he's been in some other stuff that I haven't seen. The Morrow. I'm gonna have to check that out. And it looks like looks like someone may have got an autograph from. Oh wow, Bam Margera is here. Bam Margera is actually over to my left. Someone got an autograph of Bam right there. Always cool how they have the water sitting out here. I could really go for some. Whoops. Sorry about that. Got the bright lights on the red carpet right here. Good spot to fire up the camera, talk. Really enjoyed my day here at Days of the Dead. Always a great time. Thank you, Days of the Dead, for having me. Well, look at all that pizza. Oh my gosh, come back. I am looking at some specific stuff in here for a special someone back home. Oh, and here they are. Hi. Here at Ashley. What's the latest? I always ask you the same thing. I'm like, what's the latest? What's the new stuff? Um, ooh. Oh, over here. Oh, wow, those are beautiful. Yeah. Chris the girl would really like those. That's, our new stuff. That's amazing. How much is this going for? Uh, the big lanterns for going for 250. 250. I like it. All kinds of stuff. It's got a raccoon skull. That is a raccoon skull. <laughs> There's their Instagram information right there on the other side of their booth. They have more. I even see a cauldron over here. It comes with the franchise. You guys gonna be at MegaCon next weekend? MegaCon? They'll be at MegaCon Orlando if you want to check them out as well. And maybe the guy that sells masks, he might be there too. Will he be there? What? Let's hope not, yeah. There's all their information up there on Facebook, Instagram, all of the stuff. Yeah, slinging the mask, check this out. Getting busy in here. Checking out the artwork here at this booth. I really like the old school play on the screen poster right there. A nightmare of horror. And check this banner out. Times Square, 42nd Street, Scream 6. I'm just gonna pan over. The artwork of Stephen Loros Holiday. Stephen's right here, actually. Working on something? Yeah. Yeah. Cool, man. I really like your work. They can check you out online at Facebook and Instagram and all that stuff. Do you have a website? I do. It's my full name, uh, StephenLorosHoliday.com. So check it out. All right, check them out. And one of the most favorite places that Chris the Girl likes to shop. Creature Cosmetics. Let's see what they got new here. Trashes Lashes, a display of the return of the living dead. Got all kinds of new stuff in here. Check them out online. Creature Cosmetics. If you can't see them at a con, the stuff's online. They're selling a $20 con exclusive makeup brush there. Only 20 left. This is the box here. Creature Cosmetics, that's really cool. All right, everyone, Days of the Dead. It's been a really great day. Thank you so much for watching, clicking on this video, and thank you Days of the Dead for having me. Saw so many awesome people today, ran into so many friends. Thank you all 
for making this trip worth it. I love coming up here to see all the horror stuff, but I also love coming up and seeing a lot of good people. So thanks guys. Also, shout out to 13X Studios and shout out to you guys watching. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go edit my video. Have a relaxing night here. I'm here till tomorrow. I'm going to probably film something out in Atlanta tomorrow. So as I always say, watch ahead. <laughs> All right, know you're awesome, know you're loved, no matter who you are, what you're going through. Just know, as always, watch ahead. Love you guys, see you later. I think my camera died right there at the end of the shot. Battery's dying, gotta charge my battery. And I totally missed this. Michael Ironside signed on the back of my eight by 10. Go Leafs. <laughs> That's so much fun. That's so funny.